part two of the video that I'm making about uh, the free washer that I picked up on the side of the road. If you're interested in looking at part one, I'm going to put a link to it right up here and also in the end of the description. Enjoy the video. I'll see you on the other end. Okay. Let's pull a view in. Give you some clothes to wash. If you wash them, I'm thinking that they had a problem with the drain hose on this machine because the drain hose was missing. Everything to do with the water was tampered with, it looked like. See, I believe I hooked it up, but I didn't. I didn't turn it on. Let's Everything's looking good. Whoa! That could be a problem. But I have a cure for that. I have one of these. That was probably the whole problem. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Those clamps off of there. That was probably the whole problem. Let's get this water up so we can tell if it's leaking anywhere else. Huh. I'm going to put some tape over that because it's live. Hot, warm, cold. The hot's kind of. Yeah, I put it on warm. Uh oh. That's not good. Do I have a busted tub? I hope not. But I do.
I do. Yeah, that swash plate is awful. <clears throat> yeah. Ah. Gonna be more trouble than it's worth to think. I dog it. That's a shame. I don't have another tub. I might be able to repair that one. Show you what happened with this thing. If you look at it here, you see this plate. This plate is way out of line. It should be over here, and it got a. It started riding on this fin right here, and cracked it. But there is a way to patch this. It's not too bad. Draw, draw some stop holes in it. But now, it's just on this plate. In this one spot. We have to pull the tub and I should have seen that. I didn't I need to pull this tub. Bring this over here to show you what, what has happened. Something I should have checked for. It almost makes the machine junk because if you don't have another tub which I don't at the moment on account of I liquidated everything before I moved so you see this plate right here this is a angular plate and it's not riding on here right now it's in place so what has to happen this plate has to be between these fins. These fins are here to keep it there. And what has happened is this cracked. We need to drill a stop hole there. We need to do this. We need to pull, pull the spin basket. Maybe we can use these repaired I need to order some of those now bring this one out and we got a busted tub on this one this is the one we picked up on the side of the road Clean it out anyway. Harper Knowles. Mr. Knowles. Yes. How are you doing? You're doing well, Scotty. How are you? I'm doing good. I have a flyer that I can't get to. 
to get hot for me. I had a little pressure come check time. Everything and it, and it does get a little hot, but it just don't dry the clothes. Uh huh. And it's neat. So I need the pro like you to come check it out. A pro like me. <laughs> That's right. I seen your videos. I thought, well, come here. I got an Oakdale food store here. Look here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, where is this particular dryer? Okay, it's at my house, my new house up on. All right, I'll go look at it. Okay, sounds good, my friend. Mm -hmm, bye bye. We're going to have to break you from barking at everybody. Roper never barked at everybody. Oh, man. Working with your wife. Huh? Nothing? Yeah, there's a load of washing right there. Well, you can pause it. Barking at the trash people. <laughs> I had to scold him. He, he where he barks at everybody. I do not like that. Oh, he barks at the trash man. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. You can't line that up. Ah, I don't have it. What's the matter with that? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, you. We need to get you off of that leash pretty soon. to do this is to get you a hammer on the opposite side of this pull up on the tub and tap the block it will come right out oh yeah that needs washing what you after the horse fly where is he Ooh, do. Yeah, before we can fix that crack. Oh wow, it's cracked here. And it's cracked here.
Mm. I wish I had a new tub, but I do not. I kind of hold all my boneyard off. I get me a new boneyard going. But for now, we're going to try to patch it. I can say this. Every one of these that I've ever patched has never come back to me. For that malady. That water. Got to get me a slab on the back side of the building. It ain't classy. Be pressure washing out in the front parking lot. But it is what it is. And at the moment, slabs are expensive. What am I after? Yeah. Got to think about what I'm getting. So when you washing these things out. You gotta drain that tub. Here to pick up their machine. Yeah, that's a bad crack right there. So what you want to do is look. You can see these fins through the through the tub. You want to check each fin. This fin here got it, and this in here got it. So. What we need to do is take a drill and put stop holes. So we need to put stop holes. They don't have to be very big. Probably about like that. Hey Jughead, what you doing over here? Your buddy's in there in the in the air. That's one of these neighborhood dogs. I'm just gonna call him Jughead. He's an old nasty dog. Old nasty dog. Look at that head, man. Some pit bull or something in him. But he's awful friendly. He's always looking for treats. No treats for you. I don't want you over here all the time. That scare you? Hmm. I was scared of a drill. Anyway, right at the end of the cracks, you want to drill a stop hole. That mitigates the cracks from expanding. This one is a little different. Maybe the worst one I've ever patched right here. And let's hope we do it right. See that one's back in that direction. In this direction. So let's check it out. Torch 
in the house. This is all I got left. That Mr. Harper had and somebody went over there and got the rest of them. He had a bunch and I guess they knew the value of it too. So I think that'll be enough to fix that. But now I need to go get my torch. So let me okay it with the wife. Hey, how are you? Doing well, how are you? Good, good, good to see you. Good to see you. My wife has got a bunch of quilting ladies up in there. I guess they're going to be quilting. Scared? Let's see if we can repair this rascal down. Let's not just dry that well. It's got trash on it. Okay, so I don't have a water hose. I'm going to have to put this back on here for the time being.
I think that's got enough hydrostatic hit on it. Uh, it doesn't appear to be leaking. You just want some love. You are a fine old dog. Not too old though, are you? You're licking on me. Don't forget to hook her. Drain hose up. I think that's probably got it. You can see the crack right there. I guess I could sand this now. Dog wants to go in there with his mama. His mama's got a bunch of ladies in there quilting. So, here it is. My commenters wanted to know about sanding and painting these cabinets. So I'm gonna do this video about that. First you need to kind of prepare it. Move all the loose paint chips on it. You're going to find those. In the rusty area. machine we got the leak stopped so now we need to put the, the tub spin basket back in yourself all wrapped up there, didn't you? All right. Let's take it back in there.
cap on. You got water. What you panting about? Hot. Makes me sneeze. Sunshine on my shoulder makes me sneeze. Oh man, we're gonna have to move this around. Forgot about that short water hose. Yeah, you need one of those perimeter collars. <laughs> Walk it on over. Just like that. Super eight minute warm. And we'll check for leaks and everything else. And let's hope that it'll go into neutral. And we'll check back with it. Hot dog, she went into neutral perfectly that's great been good so just take that wherever it was probably an uneven house because this foot way out this one's way down Wow, this back up. It should be fit straight up. And this one's a little bit out. That's perfect. That one's perfect. Uh-oh. Now, where's that leak coming from? From there. Uh, I'll tell you. One thing after another on this machine. Go ahead and spin it out. Do you see any black pins? What? Look in the, look in my console of my truck. There's a couple in there. Leave me one.
thing is just eat up with leaks. Leaks here. Hell. Really? Really? What am I going to do? I can get you something tomorrow. I need to sell this thing tomorrow. Well? I guess I have to sell it without the front being painted. Like that. Yeah, I'm here. Be right with you, Mr. Like Burrow. Huh? You got a good minute to work on, or you got them all fixed? Well, I'm working on this one. I think this will be the last one today. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got you fixed up. My that that timer didn't come in. It was a, a day late coming in. I meant to call you, and I forgot to. Well, I wasn't on Thursday. I told you I'd come tomorrow, but you got to tell her to come with me today. All right. As soon as I get this finished, I'll be right with you. I can't drop it. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll keep the tension on it. This thing had so many leaks on it.
get bed sores. Alright, so we've got it fixed again, we hope. Let's try to get this water up so we can tell if anything else is leaking. Lots of repairs on this thing. Maybe I need to tie that back a little too. I don't want it to be rubbing against the case and develop another leak in the future. Keep it away from the side of the case. As long as it's not rubbing on anything, rubbing on something causes a break. Try this once again. They're short wash. Oh man!
Just maybe I'm going crazy. Let's see how it looks. Well, there were many issues we found with this machine, and the, the video kind of ran uh, long, so I cut it in two parts. Part number one, I'll put a link of it right up here, and also in the description. But in the end, it didn't cost me much to fix it. I think I had uh, the cost of the agitator dogs and maybe a couple cans of paint. We sold it the next day. It hasn't come back to us. And uh, Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Chip is out.